gunmen have attacked Unpo police station in Ofia government area of Abia State. The attackers were said to have raised the main building of the station. Dan. <laughs> it was gathered that the gunmen also released some suspects in detention during the attack. The situation was said to have left many residents and indigenous of the area apprehensive. Efforts to get Abia police spokesman Jeffrey Obona were unsuccessful. He did not pick his calls for response to text messages or whatever. Mpo is the hometown of Abia Deputy Governor Oko Chuku. <laughs> Nigerians are reacting to this, so someone can't talk here and say, <laughs> like play, like play, one don't start to thank God, say Cameroon near me be this. Yeah, that is the reason why Nigerians are saying the government should do something about what is on ground. Because people will just be looking at it like this, or non-gunmen, you know, attack security men, Fulani killing people, Fulani uh, headers kill our wait, wait that they call them killing people and all that Boko Haram. You know, people go to think say this thing a small matter, but if time is not taken, this thing hey, it will reach war, it will soon blow, you know, full blown of war if the government not do something about this. Okay, someone says seriously, it is the bear friends that would destroy Biafra even before it takes off. The policemen and women that you people are killing are your fellow brothers and sisters. This is purely self destruction By the time the consequences of burning police stations come, the innocent will suffer greatly. Wait as criminals will try to capitalize on the ungoverned space. God of our ancestors is leading the war and the war we shall win. Hmm. Who do we offend in this country? What is going on in this country? So much bad things just keep happening. I don't just know. In fact, there is no day you wake up hmm, that we not hear one bad, two, three, four, five news. You must. Somebody key. If unknown gunmen did not kill policemen or burn down police station, hmm? Nigerian uh, a military will kill the Imolites, then bandits killing people, then Boko Haram. In fact, Hesmen, Fulani Hesmen. In fact, there is no day you will wake up hmm, that you will not hear bad news. But the question is, what are those in authority doing? Because things are getting out of hand. This thing they, they, they do and they, they look and say, nah, like play, like play. <laughs> if Nigeria continue like this hmm, from now to the ending of this year it's only God we know what will happen it's only God that we know what will happen because the way the thing is, do, is going now <laughs> we are living by the grace of God everybody just live by the grace of God and that is the truth alright someone said that it is very very all right, someone said there, yeah, it is very, very unfortunate that some people have not understand the game which the Aousa Fulani terrorist group is playing in this country, mostly in the southeast. This Fulani terrorist group has been the ones responsible for all these attacks on the police and police stations and others and their and this is their aim is to, to destroy the little security network in the southeast and finally unleash a big problem against the innocent citizens on change and this is a, a well-planned game with the Fulani government but God will judge everyone bad news every day and everywhere he says God is no longer interested in this country again we don't we don't offend them don't turn Igbo land into war theater again all right someone say if your brother or sister is in the army or police advise him to quit now because wahala day
Nigerians are reacting and they are still talking. All right, someone said, yeah, this is the beginning. No, they have not seen anything yet. All these uh, police stations, all of them will go for it. Army, they run. Police, they run. No more gallants again. I be everybody done turn to uh, bloody civilians. If you ask me that one now, now who I go ask? Okay, someone said, Nam the canoe, you have finally succeeded in setting your fatherland on fire. Well done. Hmm. The Bible says, My people perish for the lack of knowledge. This goes to the leadership of the IPOP. You are attacking governors, attacking police stations, attacking innocent people, killing them for no reason. If the Fulani are attacking you people, killing your people, and you are also attacking and killing your people, by the time you gain your independence, whom are you going to govern? Or are you a fool, he said. Fulani is men killing Igbo people, burning police stations. That means security that may protect them are being destroyed. Although when police are there, too, they can't help the masses. But help has men <laughs> kind of scary to be in Nigeria right now. Someone said if you are if you are a Nigerian, you should understand all the happenings around how these people have gradually taken over the lands and the regions in those country. They said, according to them, that Nigerian belongs to them. That is the reason why these Fulani people, you know, they they keep people and they are not being persecuted for that, he said. Okay, someone said Nigeria is gradually marching into Obivlomo. It is a, a gradual process, so hey, I am calling you people slow and steady. She will get there, and everything about Nigeria will be history. Our fellow brothers and sisters in the zone, terrorist uniform should, should stop killing their own people or the name of being in a uniform, period. What is the new... What is all this their new plan and all that don't understand what meant by that so guys i'm gonna drop it here let's hear from you kindly drop your view below the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much Bye.